In today's episode, we ask questions like, why do we still have these trains around? Didn't we just buy this train? And how did the future get here so fast? Hello everyone, it is California Bird here with another exciting episode of Transport Fever. And here is a very ancient train which is costing us tons of money again. Uh, we're down here in the southwest part of the map, which we haven't visited in a long time. A much more rustic and kind of uh, older style, you know, place. We've got these old buildings. Well, not old, but, you know, low, low lying buildings. Nothing too fancy. This ancient train. Now, we did, in the last episode, see the new Bombardier train. Well, we didn't see it. We selected it as an upgrade for our passenger loop. However, what I think would be good also is down here in the southern low southern lines which i am now forgetting what this one was again sock sui so sock sui for example needs to get upgraded it doesn't need a crazy crazy train so what i'm thinking actually these station these platforms are also pretty small let's just go ahead and instead of switching to this crazy long train which will cost us 40 million let's go let's just pull that off let's set a vehicle and let's make it that dual the duo sucks right there we go. And look at that. It's only 20 million. Now, it is shorter, but it's going to carry about as many people as that one carried. Isn't that crazy? And we probably also double it up and have a double. So it'd be 40 million on that. Oh, so this was set to. Oh, wait, that's because I removed the train. But I'm just getting confused right now. Uh, but I don't think it needs to be super big. Now, also, these are. This is not a very long line. We could probably get away with a much slower train uh, that's a little bit cheaper. But this one carries so much more volume as well. We might as well do it. And it's a pretty straight line shot. Um, but I don't think it needs to be much bigger than this. I don't think we're going to need a super, super long train. Necessarily. Down here. We can always get another one. We can always lengthen these later. Let's just go ahead and get one of these. Now, uh, we'll just actually stick it in the red. Yes, we'll go with that. And we'll go with a yes. So this one shouldn't be too much. Now, probably what's going to happen is the airplanes will upgrade first. Because they're only 11 million. And once the airplanes upgrade. Now, actually, I, I do want to get rid of. No, we'll keep the super constellations, I guess. This guy's probably about to upgrade, actually. We'll probably see him upgrade right in this little window right here. Did it? No, it didn't upgrade. Because we had some running costs that occurred. But it's okay. Absolutely okay. Actually, no, one of the planes did upgrade. This guy did. Oh, so I was on the. I closed the wrong window. I apologize for that. This guy is now a brand new fancy A320 as well. And so that's the thing, right? The airplanes will upgrade first. Uh, I think we did get a new train, though. No, a new water, a new boat. Yes. I guess one of the boats is getting old. Uh, but yes, new A320. Not carrying a whole ton of passengers, but hopefully that changes. What we really need is we need more stuff to do down here. More. We need South Cave to really grow as a city. That way people want to fly down here. Right? Because I bet you... It would fly up around there into those cities. But down here just hasn't been uh, growing at all. Buses. I mean, the buses down here are pretty modern. Everything's pretty new. And South Cave isn't... Well, South Cave needs some new buses. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. Go ahead and buy some road vehicles. Now, what are South Cave's buses, actually? They are ancient oh dear that's the issue let's go ahead and do that soc let's go look for sock real fast the sock bus oh yeah okay so we need to upgrade these for realsies like big ones yes and but at the same time uh we also need more of them now actually i shouldn't be so frivolous with that let's go ahead where did the sock bus go let's put that up at 150 125 150. 125. There we go. Because we don't... We, these are like the final vehicles in the game, right? So we don't have to really worry if uh, if they're going to be... We're, gonna, we don't, we're not going to get new ones, is what I'm saying, right? Let's go ahead and put that on a yes. And actually, just because I'm a little paranoid, go ahead and go find... Uh, where is it? Sock Sui... This guy is getting that new fancy train. There we go. Perfect. And let's actually put that 100%. And this one also can get upgraded, right? The sock, the SOG sock. Let's set that vehicle also to be a nice new modern Bombardier one at 100%. So there we go. Nice 
Nice commuter train. Now, yes, you might be saying, this doesn't need to be that fast. You're right, but when it goes up to Kingsbridge, which we still haven't done, I know. It, it will need to be pretty fast. Right? And I think it's okay. I mean, running cost-wise, it's a bit more than this guy. It's pretty, it scales pretty well with the speed. Which, yeah, we may not be able to hit, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because that curve is going to slow us down, but we'll we'll get up to speed over here, and then we'll slow down over there. So, maybe not worth it until if we expand this up. And what line is this? This is the Sock Bill line. Now, Sock Bill also needs to get upgraded. And Sock Bill is much longer and much straighter, so it's definitely going to be much more worth it to do it on that one. Let's go ahead and find that real fast. Sock Bill. Now, we'll just go ahead and set that also to be these dual stocks. There we go. Right there, like that at 100%. Oh, we don't need to. We do not need to. Just need the one. Alright, perfect. Now, let's see. We are costing money to run. So that's definitely a thing. Let's go ahead and up the tempo a little bit. It's the year 2015. That's a year that we're on. Yeah, this train is ancient. Ancient, ancient, ancient train that's full of passengers. These people down here are probably like, why do we have such old trains? Well, the answer is because you're neglected. And and why? And you might ask, why were you neglected? Because I focused way too much on the cargo loop for the so many episodes, like 20 episodes of cargo loop stuff. And we still didn't even finish a lot of stuff. Now, the uh, there are a lot of cars down here too, which is killing congestion. Now, down here is definitely a place that probably should get upgraded as far as, um, what's it called? As far as highways go. Because we really need these cities down here to build up much faster than the other cities up to the north. That's a thing that maybe could happen. So, what we could do is uh, make that a thing that does happen. Make a nice highway system going up around this area. I say that as we lose money. And there goes a, a constellation now. We did buy some new road vehicles, 900,000 worth, not too shabby. Uh, however, we are running into costs once, once more. So, bit of a thing. And this is an old train as well, 61 years old, oh my gosh. Woo, and it's an electric train. This was like one of our first electric trains right here. Is this one the older one? No, they're about the same age, okay. Those are some of our original electric trains if you remember. Uh, actually, the crocodile was the original, the OG, but uh, I think that he was sold a long time ago, perhaps, or maybe not. Actually, nope, that's a cargo train. No, I am not knowing where and when trains got sold or whatnot. And this is some old track down here. Uh, is this hurting our speeds? Go ahead and look at the upgrade real fast for high speed tracks. I mean, it doesn't look like it, right? It looks like the cross is green. Yeah, it looks like everything's good to go. We'll just upgrade that real fast. Just in case. Just because, why not? It also looked funny. I know we're not using it, but it looked funny. So, there we go. And this train's waiting. For some reason. Oh, right, because that's the crossover. Yes. Another issue with this area. All these crossover things. Oh, and this is a slow zone, too. Rain alignment collision. Oh, dear. I haven't even been realizing that that's uh, been a slowdown in this zone. Alright, so we've got money in the bank. Let's just go ahead and do that. Real fast. Can we pull it out and then put a new one in? It's not so happy about that. Let's let's do a little trick. See if this works. So we just lower this down, right like so, and then put this in. Oh, it still doesn't like it. Uh, it's fine up to there. Go ahead and pull out this little bit of tunnel real fast Let's see if we can make this work so we'll put this one in first are you serious really you have to pull out this part of tunnel too all right we'll put this in like so then we'll put this back in 
Well, bam. And put this one back in. Well, bam. All right. There we go. Perfect. And then hopefully it allows us to also upgrade this. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that has been fixed. That was fast. Simple like a bandage. Okay. Did not realize that that was uh, slow there. But either way. Oh, and the slow track's down here too. Oh my gosh. What is this? Go ahead and can we? Apparently the answer is no. Oh, it's because we have no money. That's a thing. Definitely a thing. Go ahead and upgrade that. Upgrade that. Why not? I'm I'm a shocked that these haven't been upgraded, or were not upgraded. Go ahead and get rid of that real fast. And we nope. Let's go ahead and nope. We don't have any uh any money to do that necessary bit. I mean, it is at the at the station, so it's not so much of a worry, right? It's like. They're gonna slow down down here anyway. That's perfectly fine. So really we shouldn't be too too worried about that. In come these trains. Let's go ahead and pause real fast. We're at 20 million. Uh no, we can't do it. I was I was gonna just splurge and try to get some of these guys to upgrade, but they won't. All these steam trains in here. Like three steam trains. Crazy. Such steam train. Much wow. Yeah, really though. So that's a thing. And right there, very, that's backwards. Casino bar food drinks. It's a casino bar food drinks. <laughs> anyway, moving forward, we have, this is a short steam train. 60 passengers. Man, how useful this train is with its three carriages. I mean, I remember putting this train in. It was back when these cities were super tiny. But. I mean, let's go ahead and pause real fast. And let's just see. I think that train was, what, 20 some odd million? Bar it all. See if this works. We're at the end of the year, so I don't know if it'll even hook up at the time. Let's see what happens. Does it upgrade? Uh, no, it's not going to upgrade because we ran out of money. Or something else upgraded. Something else upgraded. Railroad, 43 million. All right, let's go ahead and see what that is. Oh, I know what that is. We've got a fancy new one. Oh, no free seats on a train filled with at least 200 passengers. Let's go ahead and see that train. I know what train this is, by the way. Yep, there it is. There it is. It's the purple train. It's here, the purple monster. Actually, it's a bit of a monstrosity with this uh, carry. Oh, what the heck is going on? It's on top of another train. It broke and it's upgrade. Anyway, ignore that. But look at this beautiful train. It's beautiful, right? And you might be thinking, this station is too big for it. It is too big for it, because the Kellysworth station is still really tiny. That's, that's the issue. And there goes that guy too, too. But we don't want to watch that one. We want to watch this train right here. This beautiful... Now, that's it. Actually, let's go ahead and keep this open so we can go ahead and see the speeds that this guy gets coming out of the station. See the kind of accelerations we get. And here we go. Off we go on our beautiful new... Double Decker Bombardier Fancy Train. And here we go. Here we go. Ale Ale. Frito Lays. Off to the races. This building there. And a Double Decker Bus. But yeah, I think this is cool. We've got 266 people on this train. Insanity, right? Absolute insane. Oh, there's a steam train there. And I do wonder what train actually upgraded. So I'm going to go ahead and check that really fast. On the passenger loop. It was... Oh my god. It was one of the electric trains. Really? We upgraded an electric train? Are we serious? Get the old trains first. Why? 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 You're supposed to upgrade the old ancient train. No. Okay. Whatever. And now we're waiting for this guy. Mr. Slowpoke up there. So... Yeah. That was a waste of 40 minutes. Okay. It's not a waste. I know. It was good. But like the other trains could go with the speed. Right? We're trying to get speed up. Oh well. Oh well. It's it's okay. It's okay. Not really. It's not okay. Uh, and none of the other trains have upgraded. Oh, we did get a train. Oh no, wait, that's the same. Wait, wait, wait. 
getting confused here. I saw it twice, but that's only once. Yeah, no. Nope. No other no other trains upgraded. How sad. So sad. Uh those are set. I set that to 125. Be a little bit more reasonable. There we go. Ancient trains going by past our nice, beautiful double decker train. And in comes the uh the express line. Express cargo line. Here we go. Entering a city with all of our people. Isn't that nice? And are we going to stop or are we going to go? Nope, we're stopping for this cargo train. Yeah, this area needs to get a little bit fixed at some point as well. There's so many trains coming in and out now in Kellysworth. Which is why Kellysworth is one of the biggest uh, stations. But having to wait for cargo trains is really going to put a damper on our passenger network. And there we go. Now we can get going as again. We have to wait again, because there's probably a train sitting over here. There is. No, wait, there isn't. There's no train there. Why are we waiting? Waiting for free path. What? Oh, there is a train waiting there. Yep. Definitely a thing. All right. All right, because the crossover is back here now, because we have super long trains. All right, we did allow it to have 300. Now I'm remembering, we did allow the trains to be super long. We have this crazy turnaround. Oh no, we don't have a crazy. Yeah, we do. Because they come in and they turn. Yeah, we can do. We can put 300 length trains on this. I remember now. Doing that, completely forgot. So we could have made this a super long, super big, fancy train, but it's okay. We've got this little coach in the middle. That's fine. It'll look funny. It's cheaper this way. It's a lot cheaper. I mean, it does look a bit ridiculous, but it's okay. And in we go into the station. There we go. I just kind of want to see this train get a, an accelerate at some point, which is kind of why I'm watching it. But it's true. We could have done a triple. Well, no, that, that would have been excessive, right? Because a triple would have been super long. Uh, but we'll see. Look at all the doors opening up. People hopping on board the train. And look at that. We're going to have... Are we going to have a full load? No, we're not. So it's actually probably a good thing we did not go with a triple. That would have just been excessive. We don't need to carry that many people. But here we go. Off we go. Okay, now let's see what happens. Lots of traffic up here. May need to think about widening the roads. Or removing bus lanes. Maybe. Who knows. And there's a bit of a backup once again. As per usual down here. But here we go. Going nice and fast. Well, not really. We we're taking a turn. But now we can start speeding up out of the city. And here we go. Now, the other thing that would have been nice, actually, of keeping these things short, is they could accelerate really fast, right? So you have lots of these short ones going around. They could probably go a bit faster. But who knows? Now, this actually isn't speeding up that well. Maybe because we're going up a hill. I feel like those guys sped up better. Uh, let's go ahead and check the tract of effort real fast. Go ahead and find a train line. All right. Now, if we set the vehicle now, let's go ahead and look. This thing has 3,800 power. Well, tractor effort, sorry, 560 kilonewtons. I apologize, reading the wrong thing. Whereas this one had, no, it's, it's going to be about on par. Because, I mean, I'm assuming that's for the entire train, right? So each, so combining them all together, we're going to have a thousand basically. Yeah, so I, I don't know what's what's uh, what's with that. Maybe it's heavier also. These coaches and stuff are heavier. That's probably also going into it. But it's carrying more people. I don't know. I think it's a good balance. I think it's fine. We're carrying lots of people though. So that's nice. Nice big doors. Fanciness. Double-decker trains. Riding in style. Uh, let's go ahead and speed time up again. Once more. Just see this guy accelerate. Now we're going downhill. So we'll see how well this goes. So... We're going to head into the hundreds. Let's see, as long as we break 130, I'll be happy. Because otherwise, it would have been better to just go with that other train. The other commuter train. And we are pretty easily, actually. Now, there is a joggle. No, there isn't. That's just a uh, race spot. But 
we are able to go up to about 160 over here. And then we have to slow way down for this turn. However, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's okay going with this big train. And look at all the people waiting here. So many people. And this train is so long. Go ahead and see. Will people get off the platform or not? I'm amazed how, many, how long these people wait. They like wait for days. I know it's not really realistic. The timing. Uh, but they just wait for days. Over here, right? Just to get on a train. And off we go once again. Off on the races. We go. And this is also a spot that we're going to get lots of speed, I think. This is definitely going to be worth the 200. You're right, out there. The TGV would have been ridiculously stupid to put on this line. But having one that goes up to 200, I think, is a pretty good idea. And now it's a double-decker. So we get the double-decker that I was kind of wishing for a couple episodes again. So we have a double-decker, super-fast train. And there we go. Now, there was a joggle in that road back there, which probably caused our speed to drop a little. Um, but we're able to maintain a pretty good clip all throughout this section, which is very nice. And then pulling into the station. I have to slow down for this curve. Don't want to pull an Amtrak and go flying off the... Tr okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. The Amtrak has had a lot of derailments recently. It's been a bit scary. But we're all the way up here. And now we're caught up to another train. So this train definitely is really fast. And if when we are able to leverage its speed, it should be pretty good. And in we come with our 266 passengers. Absolutely crazy. And there we go. And again, another large station. I made 2 million off of that. It's definitely good. Now if we look at the finances, it is making us... This train... Yeah, so before it was upgraded, it was losing us money. Now it's making us money. I'm seeing that. I didn't know we could do that for each individual train. Let's go ahead and do that real fast, actually. Then we can actually, for science... Well, it's not really, because there's, there's like... Trains affect other trains, right? Let's see how this train's doing. Losing money. It was gaining money. These trains, however, these fast electric ones. Oh dear, it's waiting for something. Is there a train in its way? Oh no, it, it was a train in its way. But if we look at its finances, it's barely making money. But that's good. I mean, it's, it's pulling ahead of it, the competition. Probably also because it's up here in the northern zone. It was probably in the... Oh wait, that's not... Yeah, it's coming out of the northern zone. In the southern zone, it doesn't make a lot of money. I think. Now, how's production over here? Slowing. It's slowing. We've got lots of grain, not a lot of plastic. When you up the tempo of plastic movement? I don't think so. I think it's pretty good. Bet you the goods line is getting a bit hit. Probably, maybe? No, I don't know. What's going on over here? Oh, is this just that the planks can do more? Yeah, it's just that... We need to put more goods trucks over here. So let's put some... One, two, three, four. Set line for the... I don't even know what line this is called. What line is this? Can plastic good. Set line for the can plastic good. There we go. That will hopefully help out. Maybe with moving things around. There we go. Alright. Cool beans. Yeah, it seems like it's just using planks at this point. Which is not what we wanted. We wanted it to be using plastic. It's like no one wants plastic anymore. Maybe the plastic just isn't getting there in time. Uh, the city truck has lots of stuff to move around. So that's also pretty good. And did we buy anything? No, we didn't buy anything for the year of 2017. Oh my gosh. It's almost today. The day I'm filming this. Because today it is, let's see, February 6th. And there we go. It's today. Look at that. Look at that. So, we are now in the future. Do, 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 do. Crazy. The Twilight Zone. Not really. Well, I guess there's a lot of desire for planks. Yeah, I guess there's a there's a lot of planks there desired. Cause look at all the logs. So many logs. Like this needs to upgrade, I think. 
What are these guys? North planks. Okay, they obviously need to upgrade. So let's go ahead and find that real fast. Northern planks. Yeah, they're making money. They might as well upgrade. They're on an old train too. So let's set the vehicle. Now these guys only have 200, so we can actually upgrade this with the 235. Now it has three locomotives. I don't think it needs three locomotives. Honestly, what's the length of the stations? Uh, not that. 240. So, the biggest train we can make is 240. Yeah, we can just go with. So, we'll go ahead and Northern Planks. Upgrade your train. Set the vehicle. I don't think it needs to be super fast. It definitely does not need to be super fast. So, that's cheaper, actually. Yeah, actually, we'll go with this guy. Put it in black. Go ahead and just get two of those. And then lots of state cars, which we will not color until we get up to 240. I don't even know if we need two locomotives on this one. Might be excessive, uh, but we'll go with that. We'll go with yes on that and see what happens there. That should be good. So hopefully they can get more stuff going. We'll have more. Actually, we'll have more state cars. I think one extra state car. Which will be good. And new trains. Which will also be good. So hopefully that helps out. With things. We may put a new train on that as well. We're losing money. We are losing money. There's a line that's broken. I can sense it. Is there a line that's broken? Is it in the southwest area? No. Doesn't look like it. Everyone's moving around. Doing their bit. It may just be that, that like kind of... The wave, right? We've just got so much cargo. The cargo line is like saturated and it's just not making money. You're not waiting for a free path. You're just loading and unloading. The white zone is for loading and unloading only. The purple zone. Anyway. Airplane references. Um, no, I think things are going good. It's just that, yeah, lines are saturated once again. So there we go. Moving along. What also could happen is we could just shut down the stone line and get rid of the construction material here. And me, me make construction material only occur up here. Or we could set these trucks to only move the steel. Right? And they'd stop moving. We'd stop producing construction material up here. Which might be something we want. Honestly. I'm not exactly sure what exactly we want. I just feel like there's so much construction material saturating the area that it's uh it's a bit crazy. It really is. I mean, look at this. What are you going to carry? You're the plank train and you're going to carry steel. Rename it the Steel Express. Steely Dan. And this train's also getting really dingy and old. How old is this train? 54 year Wow, we have time accelerated really far, haven't we? Yeah, 54-year-old train. So that's the express train needs to get upgraded too. Oh my gosh, everything needs to get upgraded. Crazy, and this train actually would benefit from being one of those fancy new electric trains that can go pretty fast. But I think that this is a perfect place to put cut in. We are starting to pull into the green. So in the next episode, maybe we'll do that. We'll put on some of those fancy electric cargo trains for the Plank Express. But until then, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely put a like down below. As always, this has been California Bird. Until next time, see ya.